We're on the edge of a global catastrophic disaster. And disasters can happen at any time and at any place. Human conflict, nuclear bombs, natural disasters, chemical and biological warfare. Without warning, the world as we know it can come to an end. It's the near future. A viral outbreak decimates the world's population. Your home, your workplace, your friends and family, gone. Los Angeles is one of many cities left devastated. Infrastructure breaks down. Chaos reigns. This is the setting of the colony. The colony is a controlled experiment to see if 10 strangers can rebuild society in the wake of a global catastrophe. The backgrounds and expertise of these 10 volunteers represent a cross-section of modern society. For 10 weeks, they'll be isolated with no electricity from the grid, no running water, and no communication with the outside world. All they'll have to work with are their skills, the tools and supplies inside an abandoned factory, and whatever they can scavenge at a handful of cordoned off locations. As part of the experiment, an outside gang of looters and thugs will challenge the colonists' resources and security. Get him out! The world of the colony has been designed using elements from both historical disasters and models of what the future would look like after a global viral outbreak. Throughout the series, a group of experts will put the colonists' challenges in the context of these real-world disasters. The volunteers of the colony have an amazing opportunity to teach all of us how to survive after major disaster strikes. The experiment begins now. The volunteer's journey begins with a shock to the system to simulate the stress experienced in the aftermath of a disaster. They're kept awake for 30 hours with almost no food or water. We're all exhausted. We're all beat, we're all hungry. Mentally drained, they're then given 15 minutes inside an abandoned department store to scavenge whatever they can carry. You guys clear? After only 10 minutes, marauders and looters are sent in to steal the volunteer supplies. We got a week here. I think we got just a week. We'll make do for now. We'll I think we'll manage. Else later. The final phase before arriving at the colony is lugging the 200 pounds of looted supplies eight miles down the Los Angeles River. Now, for the next 10 weeks, they're on their own. In an experiment of this scale and detail, the constructed world can actually become the real world for the people living in it. And they begin to internalize the experience because they realize that there is a certain reality and the potential and possible destruction of what's familiar and what's known to them. I went across the bridge. I'll never forget that scene, but not seeing a single living thing. The Colony begins July 21st at 10, only on Discovery.